Get connected to the most influential prophet of our times by simply subscribing to Major One Connect, a user-friendly mobile application where you watch Prophetic Channel 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Simply download, install, and subscribe. On this app, you will get your personalized prayer for healing, breakthrough, and salvation messages. Enjoy the amazing features of Major One Connect from wherever you are around the world. Available on both Android and iOS. Do you need a prayer for healing, breakthrough? Pray along with Major One. Distance is not a barrier. Connect in faith as you witness God's healing power. Receive your healing. Listen to Major One, the most influential prophetic voice, and get inspired with unique revelations now. Major One Connect. My message today, my message today, angels of prayer. Somebody say angels of prayer. They are angels of prayer, special squad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a special what? There is a special squad responsible for prayer. Hmm. Hey, and, and, and if you are away, or if you are not away, just, just like pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, I pray in the name of you. Amen. Do you know there are special angels? Special angels responsible for what? Prayer. For prayer. In Isaac, in this church, we have thousands and thousands of these angels. You as a person, you have got these angels. Where you are watching me from, you have these angels waiting for something to happen for them to make a movement. Now, in Matthew 5, verse 5, the Bible says, Blessed are the meek. <laughs> For they shall inherit. Inherit the what? Let's give the earth. The earth. Blessed are the meek. Now you must understand from chapter uh, chapter five. I mean chapter five from verse one. Actually, the Bible is speaking different blessings. Blessed are the what? Blessed are the what? Now you find out that in this um, uh, um, uh, passage, and seeing the mountain, he went up on the mountain, and when he was seated. His disciples came to him. Now, watch this. Verse 2. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Poor in spirit. They are lacking something. They feel like they want more. Not people who feel like, ah, I'm already fine. You know, spiritual, I've grown up. You know. No, but the poor in spirit. Poor in spirit. So they still want more. They want to hear more. They want to get more. They, wanna, they are poor in spirit. The Bible says what? Why? It says what? The reason why? For this is the kingdom. The kingdom of heaven. Then it continues. Blessed are. Blessed are. For they shall be comforted. Uh -huh. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit. So when we talk of blessings of this world, whatsoever we're talking about breakthrough, I need healing, I need, I, all these things are earthly inheritance. They have nothing to do with heaven. Heaven is from verse 3. Where it says, blessed are the poor in spirit. For they is the kingdom of heaven. Then verse 5. Blessed are the meek. So if you want, if you want to inherit any earthly possession, whether a house, whether a car, whether whatsoever, that is on earth, you must be meek. Now, to be meek means to be able to understand. Someone teachable. Someone who can sit down and understand what you are being taught. Hmm. I might turn to somebody or somebody's being 
Blessed are for now, so you can you can be in church and you can be sitting and praying like any other person, but to be meek is a different story. To be meek is to understand. Okay, let me give you a good example. In Daniel chapter 9, from verse 1, we find how meek Daniel was. Daniel was not a man who would sit under a sermon of a man of God. And then when it says it's over, the program is over, then Daniel would go home and he said it was powerful. No, Daniel would understand the sermon of a man of God. If it's not that he was there, but he has just read a story of what the man of God was preaching, he would not just read it. He would go to understand. Hey, I'm talking to somebody right here. Now, we find here Daniel understanding a preaching of Jeremiah. He was meek in heart. In Daniel chapter 1, so 9 verse, from verse 1, in the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the lineage of the Medes, who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood. Somebody say understood. understood. Ah, he was meek. He was understanding things. He was not just hearing when I'm preaching or when he was preaching or somebody is preaching. He would understand. You can listen to a powerful sermon, but to understand, that's what takes you out of a situation. Now, here Daniel understood. There was an understanding. All right. So when we want to deal with angels, angels, they do not deal with people who have a lack of understanding. Let me teach you something. Angels are not seen physically. But there are many here. So many angels here. They're moving. For you to see an angel, let me teach you something. For you to see an angel, if you want to see an angel, let me teach you something. One time I was teaching somewhere else. I said, hear this. If you want to see an angel, if you stand like this and you open your eyes like this, you want to see any. Because angels are in expanded form. They are things that are made in expanded form. A man and a woman. A man is not made in an expanded form. A woman is made in an expanded form. This is why a woman when she's pregnant, her stomach can expand and can shrink again. Because that's the nature how God made a woman. She is in an expanded form. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I speaking to somebody right here? Now, I just want you to, to give... Now, that's a physical example of expanded form. Physical example of expanded form. Now, let me give you another physical example of an expanded form. If you take a chewing gum, now, hold that chewing gum before you chew it. Do like this. Try to see through it. Can you see through it? But when you chew it, after chewing it for a long time, remove it. Hold it like this. And then pull it. Can you see through it? Yes. Why? It's in the expanded form. So angels, when they are walking, they are in like an expanded form. So you can stand here and see through them. And you want to see an angel, yet you are, you, you are actually seeing him through. And you want to see an angel somewhere in the mountains or the trees, yet actually he's standing in front of you, you are seeing through him. So you can only see an angel when you too spiritually, you have gone into an expanded form. Ah, let me try to talk to another maybe direction. Now, it's expanded the form. Now, let, let me show you this. Now, the Bible says, I'm going to show you where Daniel saw an angel and expanded the form. Now, look at this. Daniel understood. Understood what? Let's go on the scripture. The Bible says, 
Verse 2. It says, oh, let's start from verse 1. In the first year of King Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the lineage of the Medes, who was medicating over the realm of the Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by the books, 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 understood by the books. Now, give me NIV. Give me NIV. Right? In NIV, it says, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah, the prophet. I understood by the books the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet. There was a prophecy given about Daniel and the people of Israel that after 70 years, they must walk out of being slaves in Babylon. They must go back home. They must be free. So the prophecy said, after 70 years, you shall be free. Who prophesied? Who prophesied? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Who understood it? Jeremiah. Now, so 70 years erupted. 70 years passed. But they were still in what? In the bondage. So it is possible you're going to get a prophecy of deliverance. A prophecy of breakthrough. A prophecy of healing. And the period can pass without you receiving it. Until you understand. So the whole nation of Israel was still under what? Slavery. They were captives. Yet the prophecy says, after 70 years, your suffering is over. You can imagine where a prophet stands and says, in this year, in 2017, this year will not pass until you walk out of the problem. And the year passes, you are still in problem. 2018 comes. The prophet says, in this year, it is your year. You are walking out of your problem. 2018 passes, you are still in problem. 2019, a prophet comes out. In this year, you are walking out. The year finishes, you are still in the problem. It's the same way what happened with, with, with Israel. When they were in captive in the land of Babylon, which today is called Iraq. They are captives as slaves, working for people. We hear the whole story coming from all that story. When we, you know, we talk about you know, when they were being uh, thrown in, into the fire, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, there was a particular time where the people of Babylon came to spy, but they came with gifts as friends. There are people when they see gifts, just a man bringing flowers, their hearts skip a little bit. Now, when they saw gifts, when Hezekiah saw gifts, he said, wow, I didn't know you love us like this. Come, let us show you our secret. So he took them into the temple and showed them every secret. This is the ark of the covenant. This is our strength. Once you conquer this temple, you have conquered us. Ah, okay. This is where I come and I bow down here. I worship here. Ah, after they left. God sent a prophet Isaiah and he said, um, this is a big problem you have done. So Hezekiah didn't, he did not know that he was making a mistake. So prophet Isaiah said, you have made a mistake. Now Hezekiah didn't know that he had, he had done a mistake. He didn't know. By showing the temple, the people, it was a big blunder and mistake. Now, God sent a prophet. Go and tell Hezekiah that what you have done is a mistake. You have showed them a temple. And because of that, the, the people from Babylon, they will come and conquer your land. And they will take everyone into Babylon. You'll be slaves in a Babylon. This is how they found themselves in Babylon. They were captured when the Babylonians came 
in Jeremiah 29 verse 10. In the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 10. You'll find out when the Babylonians came, they went straight to the temple. They knew the secret. Took everything and took everyone. And Jeremiah prophesied. In Jeremiah 29 verse 10, this is what the Lord says, when 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. Verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and the future. Do you understand that there's a prophecy by Jeremiah that when you are captured from this place, when you have gone to, to Babylon, you will be there for how many years? After 70 years, I will return you back to Israel. I have got plans not to harm you, but to prosper you. Do you understand? Now, they were really captured. The enemy came from Babylon, captured them. Hezekiah, he made the biggest mistake. The, the people were captured and taken to captive. Right then, captivity, Daniel is a man of God. He sees visions, but he still is looking for a sermon of another man of God. Then he looks, he consults. He finds a sermon when Jeremiah was preaching. We don't know where. But there was a particular day Jeremiah was ministering and he prophesied. He said, after 70 years, the people from Babylon must walk out. Now, Daniel is born after Jeremiah already died. But the sermons of Jeremiah are still in books. The sermons, the prophecies of Jeremiah are still what? Then Daniel wakes up in the morning. He's born there. People are being tortured. People are being put in the fire. They're being taught to worship idols. There was a particular time when you read the book of Ezra and all other, other books. There was even a particular day, time, where the people of Israel in Babylon married fallen women of Babylon. And they were being mocked. They went through a lot. Mm, I think I'm talking to somebody here. <laughs> Isaiah 39, verse 1 to 6, NIV. Isaiah 39, verse 1 to 6, NIV. Isaiah 39. Let's check, check this out. Verse 1. At that time, Madok, Baradan, Madok Baradan, son of Baradan, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah letters and a gift because he had heard of his illness and recovery. Hezekiah received the envoys gladly and showed them what was in his storehouses. The silver, the gold, the spices, the fine olive oil, his entire armory, and everything found among his treasures. There was nothing in his palace or in all his kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Can you imagine? Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked, What did those men say? And where did they come from? From a distant land, Hezekiah replied. They came to me from Babylon. Hmm. The prophet asked, What did they see in your palace? They saw everything in my palace, Hezekiah said. There is nothing among my treasures that I did not show them. At least it was true. Someone would be like, Major one, I'm telling you, I didn't show them anything. <laughs> now, now, then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord Almighty. The time will surely come when everything in your palace and all that is in your predecessors have stored up until this day will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. And some of your descendants, your own flesh and blood who will be born to you, will be taken away and they will become eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Didn't this prophecy come to pass? Who was the eunuch in Babylon? Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It was prophesied way back. 
So if you don't believe in prophecy, God, when you were prophesying, he's not dealing with you. He's dealing with your generation. Until the day you understand, I am in this church or I'm under a prophet, not for me, but even for my future generation, you will see what the Lord will begin to do in your life. Now, you see here, there was a prophecy. Hezekiah showed them everything. And Jeremiah prophesied, after 70 years, you've been punishment. And when the punishment is over, how many years? How many years? How many years? When the punishment is over, you will return. And when you return, I have plans for you. When you return, I want to prosper you. When you return, I don't want to harm you. Seven years finished in Babylon. Nothing happened. They were, still, they were still slaves. It took one man to understand. Seasons and times. The prophet said 70 years. When 70 years is over, we will return. We are not returning. We are still slaves. So this man called Daniel, he understood by the books the sermon and the preaching of Jeremiah and the prophecies of Jeremiah. And he said, it's time to return home. The prophet said it. He prophesied. So I must do something about it. This way now we involve angels of prayer. Now let me show you something. If you were prophesied that there will be a time you walk out of the problem, when a prophet says in two weeks you'll walk out, when a prophet says after this season, what do you do in the return? He just sit down and say, he said it. No. When, you, when there's a prophetic declaration, it is a time to involve angels of prayer. Now watch this. Now watch this. Here the Bible says in Daniel chapter 9, now verse 2. The Bible says what? Verse 2. The Bible says, let's go to verse 2. In the first year of his reign, I understood from the scriptures. Now we're going to go back to NKJV. Now, scriptures. Mark the scriptures. Now, in the first year of his reign, I done understood by the books the number of the years. I always tell you, numbers have got so much meaning in the prophetic. He understood the numbers. Numbers. Calf, calf. Understand that. Calf. Understand the numbers. I, Daniel, understood why did he understand the number, the, by, the number of the years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the what? Desolations of Jerusalem. Uh huh. Now, what after understanding, what did he do? Then I set my face toward the Lord. God, to make requests by prayer and the supplications with the fasting, sackcloth and ashes. What word did you understand, you, of a prophet or of prophecy that took you into fasting and prayer? It's a simple question. What word of a prophet, what word of the scripture, what word of the Bible that you understood that took you... To seek the face of God through prayer and fasting. It takes understanding. Otherwise, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be in church. And I receive a year finishing. This year by December, you're going to get married. I is that one I received. <laughs> the year, boom, no marriage. It will take you to understand. Look at your say these things they will need you to understand. A prophet will declare, I declare and I declare. Your doors are open. I it's more than to receive. Everyone received it in, in uh, whosoever was a Jew in Babylon, they all received. But, it's, but it took one man to understand. He said, I understand what the prophet is saying. This thing, it needs spiritual intervention. And he went into prayer and into what? Do you understand? He humbled himself before the Lord. 
He said, I want, I want what Jeremiah prophesied. The prophecy by Jeremiah to come to pass. You must understand he too was a prophet. But he honors the word of any prophet. If you are a prophet, you are the first person to understand the prophetic thing that has been said. As long as the prophecy came from God. I honor every word of a prophet in the world. I honor every prophet in the world. So when, they, when Daniel understood, he said, no, 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 no. When Daniel understood, when Daniel what? When Daniel understood, I want to show you something here. When he said, I will seek the face of God with, ash, with ashes, sackcloth, and fasting. You see, people be in church like this every day. A prophet will be speaking things that I receive. They go home and be like, hey, it was a powerful sermon. Yo, yo, today, yo, 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 major prophet. Yeah. Understand. Blessed are those who can understand. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek. For they shall in Meek is a person who is learned. Who can sit and learn from someone with understanding. I, Daniel, understood what the prophet said. There were so many people. But who understood? Answer my question. Who understood? You can all be in this room, but who understands? The Bible says, may the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. May the eyes of your understanding, because you will inherit nothing on earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit. It takes one to sit down and say, wow. Even, even in the secular world, all rich people, it takes them to have what? Understanding. Any rich man in the world is because they have got, they are meek. 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 Blessed are the meek. They shall inherit the earth. Full stop. Anything you want on this earth, that you want to inherit on earth, be meek. Daniel understood. We must walk out of slavery. After how many years? Now, check Ezra 1 verse 1. Ezra. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing. Now, before we even go to say, so can you see here, can you see here, that the king now, he has to make the prophecy come to pass. But what made this king to say, no, 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 I must release the people. After 70 years, what made the king make that decision? Get connected to the most influential prophet of our times by simply subscribing to Major One Connect a user-friendly mobile application where you watch Prophetic Channel 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Simply download, install, and subscribe. On this app, you will get your personalized prayer for healing, breakthrough, and salvation messages. Enjoy the amazing features of Major One Connect from wherever you are around the world. Available on both Android and iOS. Do you need a prayer for healing, breakthrough? Pray along with Major One. Distance is not a barrier. Connect in faith as you witness God's healing power. Receive your healing. Listen to Major One, the most influential prophetic voice and get inspired with unique revelations now. Major One Connect.